Hi, I'm Leroy Jenkins. I'd like for you to stay tuned for the next 30 minutes and what you see and hear will help change your life. I'd like to introduce to you a fine woman from Dallas, Texas, Ursuline Cole, and she's going to do a, a number for you. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. So give her a nice hand of applause, everyone, and you may be seated. And for you people that's watching by the way of television, stay with us for the next 30 minutes, and I'm sure that it'll bless you, all right? There's a brighter day, I know, mm, somewhere, yes, there's a brighter day, I, I know.
Jesus. Well, I tell you, they say everything's bigger and better in Dallas. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> you know, I was thinking of the great victory that we share and rejoice in by knowing the Lord Jesus Christ. And as you know, the Spirit of the Lord never lies. I was telling the people of Holy Hill Cathedral, and most of you people know how I feel about atheism, and a few months ago God spoke to me that Madeline Mary O'Hara was going to give it up. Yes, Reading in the newspaper, I find just a little small article where Madeline Mary O'Hara said because of the constant fighting of the Christians, fighting her, and for the lack of support of the atheist, she said, I'm giving it up. I'm quitting. Now, I believe if anything is real, it lasts. And I believe when a prophet of God prophesies, it has to come to pass. That's what the Word of God says. And I was thinking how wonderful it is to know that there is a God, not to be confused and mixed up about your beliefs. And the reason so many people are mixed up about their beliefs is because they have not had an experience with God. I'd like to tell you how I got started in the ministry. It was about 15 years ago when one night... I had been invited to a crusade where they believe in miracles, where not only did they believe in miracles, where they practiced praying for the sick and the afflicted. The Bible says, without a vision, we shall perish. Most people, they don't even know what a vision is. The Bible teaches you and I that we can know things in the Spirit of God before they happen. But for the prophecy that God has given you and I, that in the last days He would pour out of His Spirit on all flesh, meant that God has to do exactly what He says. He said, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, your sons and your daughters, your young men, your old men, and all of you maid servants, handmaidens. God said, I'm going to pour out a blessing upon you. When I made a decision that I must come to New York, Madison Square Garden. We plan in September the 26th. We want all of you to plan to be there. Make your plans now. Because I believe it's going to be the greatest outpouring of God's Spirit 
that we've ever witnessed before. And I believe it's going to get news coverage nationwide because of the thousands of people that are going to come and find Jesus Christ as their Savior. In our recent crusades, we've had close to 40,000 people to come to God from all walks of life. Most of all, we've had drug addicts, 12 years old, that have been on drugs for two years, young men and women with tracks all over their arms. One girl said that her veins had all collapsed and she was glad that they did because she didn't want to take heroin for 15 years. She had been on heroin. And I thought, even if people like Madeline Mary O'Hara doesn't believe that there is a God, how would you like to know that one of your children was hooked on drugs? An expensive habit. And these young girls and boys stood there and said, we watch your telecast every week. And one said, I didn't take a fix today before I came here because I came in hope that I would be delivered. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Another young lady that was watching by television was delivered from drugs. And she said, I haven't even missed it. That God took it away. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe the most important miracle is when a person finds reality in God. When a person knows that Jesus Christ is alive. When I look over this great audience of people here in Delaware, Ohio, I see hundreds of young boys and girls. And I know some of their testimonials of how God rescued them, how God delivered them from narcotics. It makes me feel good to know that we are not only serving a God that can save, but we are serving a God that can also heal. I told you a little while ago that I wanted to tell you a little about my testimonial and why I'm here. And to sum it all up, I'd have to say the reason that I want to be in the ministry, the reason that I want to have television and radio, it's because I want to see millions of people like you people saved and brought to the realization that God is alive, that God is real. That when you hear a message or you turn on a television station, and you hear preaching and see people being healed in the power of God, you'll understand what it's all about. And that's the reason I'm telling you people, I want you to stand behind this ministry. I'm speaking to you all over the world. I'm speaking to you here in Delaware, Ohio, at the Holy Hill Cathedral. I want you to do something extra special. I'd like to go on about a hundred more stations in the next few weeks. And I can only do it by asking people like you to join me in these crises, in this thing that people are looking for. Mothers and fathers confronted daily with their children on narcotics. I want to help those kids. I want to help you. I want to see you people in the hospitals return back to a normal life. I'm one of the very few that's preaching and showing miracles on television. 
And I'm telling you it's for your benefit, for your good, to see God move in the lives of millions of people, to put something on television that people can relate to and let people know that God can save, that God can heal. Yes, I believe that God still performs miracles, and I can show you what a miracle is. I can tell you exactly what a miracle is. Because I believe that God still hears and answers prayer. Don't you believe that, honey? Amen. Lady, how long have you been crippled? 29 months yesterday. And may I ask you a question? Do you believe that God can heal you? Yes, I believe he could heal me. And where do you live? Mansfield, Ohio. Mansfield, Ohio. Put your hand in mine. Lady, you have a poison throughout your entire system. Is this true? Mm -hmm. You have a soreness all over your body. Is this true? Yes. And there's no way that you can be healed without you yourself want to be. I'm going to ask God to do a miracle for you. Put your other hand in my hand. Father, this woman that's on this walker, that's crippled for all these 29 months, I ask God that you, first of all, let this poison in her system die that causes her to have infection in her joints. In the name of Jesus Christ, I believe it. Lady, get up. Stand right there and move up and down. Keep doing it. That's right. Bend them up and down. You couldn't do that before, could you? No. Thank you, Jesus. Jump if you want to. Thank God. Thank God. Ladies, sit back down. Now get up. Everybody say praise God. Thank God. I just showed you what I was talking about. I know God can do that same thing for you. Sure, I get criticized for taking ladies' walkers and canes and crutches and throwing them away. They say, oh, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't let people see that. Why? For God's sakes, tell me why you shouldn't let cripples know that God can heal them. Why keep something good a secret? As God speaks to me, I speak to you. As God blesses, I bless you, and I ask you to help me to reach millions of more people for the Lord. Please write to me, Leroy Jenkins, Delaware, Ohio. I'll get your letter, and we'll pray for you as we always do, and God will hear and answer that prayer. Some of you can't be here. Some of you could never be here. But God is just as close as you are. And right now, Father, I pray for these that are watching by television. I pray for those that need salvation. I pray for those kids, God, that are sitting there that's on drugs and they don't know which way to turn. Right now, God, deliver them. 
I know you will. I believe it. As I stand here and I had my eyes closed, I saw a young lady and three other people and right now you're high on drugs and you're, you're just spending like a top. And God is delivering you. I see a lady that's watching this television program right now and God is letting this ministry go into a vision for you and God is healing you. You are crippled and you are on a cane and sometimes you have to even use a walker. Right now, get up. You that's watching by the way of television, right now, lift up your hands and let God touch you. Right now, I feel that God has touched you. Thank God. Now, I want you to write me and tell me what God did for you. I really mean that. Put on there exactly what happened. I want everyone here to lift up your hands. Father, we pray for the television audience. We pray for all of those millions that are sick and afflicted and those that are depressed, those that are on drugs, those that want to be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be. Amen. God bless you. Isn't that amazing how uh, the Bible tells us things to do and a lot of people read it and never ever pick up a phone, make a call, never try anything, then they, they criticize it. I have stacks of these testimonies here. One man had colon cancer from North Carolina. His wife took it on her own stuff to call and get the water and gave it to him. I don't think she even told him. He drank it, went back to the doctor, and the doctor could not find any trace of cancer. Uh, faith, the Bible says, works. that turns into from hope to faith and causes a miracle to happen. This book is filled with miracles that God has done, even in the Bible days, prophecies that have been prophesied that would come to pass in these last days we're living in. The only hope that we have is what the Word of God says, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Listen to this. I, I love reading these because I know that people are being healed and helped through television. That's one good thing about television. There's a lot of bad things, but this is a good thing that we can come into your house, into your living room, and share with you the Word of God and see miracles happen in your life. I'd like for you right now, just go and pick up your phone and call. The free call. The vial of water is free. It's a little, little bitty bottle like this, but it's free. And the Lord talked about grain of mustard seed faith is all you need. This is all you need just to touch it in your mouth and see what God will do. Here's another testimony. When I called for your miracle water, I had an open sore about the size of a dime or maybe larger. It had been there for a year. I put the water on it and it dried up and never came back. Cleveland, Ohio. Lenny Robinson. Another one. I use the miracle water anytime my son got his foot injured and was playing basketball. I threw some miracle water on his feet and it got healed. Brooklyn, New York. It's a, just amazing what uh, that causes your, to release your faith actually is what it does. 
if these testimonies, do you know how much trouble it is to write a letter, go and get a stamp put on, take it to the post office? People are not going to do that if something is not happening. I promise you. I called for a bottle of water. I obeyed the instruction. And I can honestly say that not only has my health improved, also my finances. This guy said he put it in his, in his wallet and forgot about it and started his bank account increased and, and his blessings kept increasing. And he opened his wallet one day and found it and realized the letter that he had written and the phone call that he made. There's some of you right now that's having problems with cancer. Some of you with diabetes, high blood pressure, all kinds of problems in your life. And, you know, I've, I've made it available to you that all you have to do is pick up your phone and make this call and let me send you this little thing of water with instructions and I will assure you that you'll be one that's writing these letters saying, I sent for the water and God did a miracle in my life. It might be a miracle of finances you need. It might be a son or a daughter or somebody in your family that needs something from God. And I want to tell you, it definitely works. And I know that faith is one of the key things that people really look over sometimes that causes a miracle to happen. God is there with nothing to do except to supply our needs and our problems. There's some things that he asks us to do. And when we do what God tells us to do, God's going to do what he said he would do. Listen to this. Uh, I, I love people that will sit down and share their testimony. The Bible says you're an overcomer by your testimony. It worked for thousands of other people, and it will work for you. Over the weekend, we got over close to 2,500 calls from people that's picking up their phone and ordering this little thing of water here. And if you'll do it, Right now, while it's on your mind, the number is on the screen, and we'll send this immediately to you. Make sure that you include your area code, your telephone number, and say exactly what you want, and we'll send it to you immediately. I know that this will be a blessing to you. The Bible is filled with things that God is doing and has done for people. And he'll do the same for you. You don't need to order one of my books or one of my tapes. All you need to do is pick your Bible up and read it and see what it tells you to do. Pick up your phone, give me a call, and I'll send you this water. Thank you, and God bless you until we see you next time. Be one of the first 300 to call for your free vial of blessed water as a point of contact to release your faith in God's appointed miracle in your life. Many people have already experienced their miracle through their blessed water. Get yours today.